Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the percentage, base, and rate. Maraming tayong versions or videos about percentage, base, and rate. Pero recently, marami ako nabasa na comments na gumawa ka ng panibagong video about this topic. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Una natin gagawin is to give a simple definition for the three different terms, percentage, base, and rate. Let's start with the percentage. Percentage is defined as a portion. It is the variable in the percentage formula that represents a part of the base. So, if hindi naman ganun kalaki yung number na to, normally, percentage is lower than or smaller than the base. Kasi yung base natin, ito, base is the number that represents 100%. Or the total value of something or the whole thing. Yun yung base natin. So, kung matanoyin kayo, which one is bigger normally, it's the base. And percentage is the portion of the base. Let's move on to the third term, rate. Rate defines what the part, what part the percentage is of the base. If the rate is less than 100%, the percentage is less than the value of the base. And lagi siya merong symbol of percentage. Now, after the definition, let's go with the formula. The formula for percentage is simply rate times base or in variables, P is equal to R times B. Yung rate naman natin is percentage divided by or over the base or in variables, R is equal to P over B. And lastly, the formula for the base, base is equal to percentage over rate or B is equal to R, uh, P over R. Ngayon, if hassle ang pag-memorize ng formula, we have here a triangle wherein it will help you to memorize or to derive the formula for the percentage, rate, and base. So how does it work? Let's say for example, you want to remember the formula for the percentage at ito lang yung natatandaan mo. Yung P natin represents percentage, the R represents the rate, B represents the base. If P yung kailangan mong i-derive, ito muna. Meaning, if you want to derive P, P is missing. So we will um, enclose the variable P. And as you can see, we have here P and R. P, that is P, what's missing? Then P sa R saka B. Since magkatabi sila, meaning you need to multiply. So, ibig sabihin nito, P is equal to R times B. R times B. So, ganun yung percentage formula natin. So, what about if rate ang hinahanap? Paano natin madiderive itong formula na to? If rate ang hinahanap, we will close down the variable R. And as you can see, we still have the variable P and the variable B. And hindi sila magkatabi, pero nasa ibabaw si, B, si P over B. Meaning, that is R and close R. Rate is missing is equal to P over B. And last, for the base naman, if base is missing, or you want to derive this formula, B is equal to P over R. Ganon siya ginagamit, guys, on how to memorize and derive the formula for the percentage, base, and rate. In the next part of our video, I will teach you how to identify the different parts and what's missing in the given problem. So we have here, identify the given and the missing element. So in number one, we are given what is 25% of 50. Siyempre, we need to identify first what is given here in the problem for us to identify what's the missing element. Ito, what is 25% of 50? Itong... 25% na to, automatically, this is your rate or R. Kasi meron siyang percentage or percent symbol. Yes sir, what about 50? Anong nire-represent 50? 50 represents the base. Sir, paano niyo po nalamang base yan? Um, based on mismong um, problem, we, I could say na base yan. At ang nawawala natin ay yung 
percentage. Sir, bakit? Another clue na bibigay ko sa inyo, ito yung clue ha. Yung off natin, ito yung clue natin that the next number represents the base. Laging sinusundan ng base ang word na off. Okay? So again, since meron na tayong rate, at yung off natin, off 50, 50 represents the base, automatically, yung portion or the percentage is missing. Okay? Now, let's move on with number 2. What percent of 50 is 30? So, dito, obviously, alam na agad kung ano nawawala. Since wala tayong symbol na ganito, automatic, rate is missing. Eh, sir, paano nyo nalaman na ito ay percent, uh, percentage sa base? Ito, look at the word, off. 50, this is your base. Ito naman, paano ko agad nalalaman na percentage to or P? Yung P naman natin, it follows the word is. Yung word na is. Yun yung clue natin dyan. Okay, let's move on with number 3. For number 3, 10 is 20% of what number? Automatically, this is your rate. At dito, of what number? Of what number? Ibig sabihin na itong what number na ito or nawawala natin is yung base. Itong 10 is, automatically this is your percentage. So, I hope na nakuha nyo kung paano mag-identify ng given element at yung missing element. So, right now, I think you're ready to solve problems regarding percentage, rate, and base. So, let's have this problem. Finding the percentage or portion. So, una, I have this triangle. Define muna natin or derive muna natin yung formula. P is equal to rate times base. This is our formula. So, let's start with number 1. What is 30% of 250? So, dito, this is your R. And this is your base because of the word of. So, given the formula, P is equal to R times B. Yung rate natin, if your rate is equal to 30%, hindi mo gagamitin yung 30%. You will convert that into decimal and that is 0 0.30 or 3. So, that is 0 0.3 times your base which is 250. So, if you will multiply this, you can use your calculator or you can do manual multiplication. 0 0.3 times 25, uh, 250 is 75. The answer here in number 1 is 75. Sir, is there an another way on how to solve that? Pwede naman. Since 30% to, ang, gina ang pwede kong gawin dito is that I will break it down into 10%. So, 10%, 10%, then 10%. So, equivalent of 30%. Ano ba ang 10% ng 250? The 10% is 25. So, ibig sabihin, tatlong 25 yan. And then 25. And as you can see, adding them all, it will give you the answer of 75. So, maraming ways. Yung iba, they are doing it mentally. But in your case, if you are grade 5 or grade 6, you will you need to solve it manually, guys. Okay? Let's move on with item number 2. What is 15% of 200? Same formula, P is equal to R times B. This is your R. This is your B. Your R is equal to 15%. And in decimal, that is 0 0.15. Your base is 200. So substitute natin, that is 0 0.15. 15 times 200. And if you will multiply that, your P is simply equal to 30. And this is the answer for number 2. So I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung, yung mismong ways natin on how to calculate for the percentage or portion. Now let's go with item number 3. Number 3 tayo. For number 3, uh, we will try to solve for the rate. Rate tayo ha. Derive natin dito ulit. 
rate is equal to P over B. Percentage over base. So identify natin dito which one is the percentage or base. Since ito yung word na off natin, this is your base. Itong 20 na to is your percentage. What's missing is R. So again, formula rate is equal to percentage over base. So gagawin natin, substitute natin. R is equal to 20 over 80. Simplify natin. Cancel natin 0, 0. So we have now 2 over 8. Ang lowest term guys na 2 over 8 is 1 fourth. And if you know that the equivalent of 0 0.4 into decimal, the equivalent is 0 0.25. Pero sir, uh, is this the final answer? Not yet kasi kailangan natin magkaroon ng percentage symbol. So what you need to do is, ang ginagawa nila, minumultiply nila by 100%. So the answer is 25%. Pero yung iba naman, they're just moving the decimal point 1 and 2. After that, that is 25%. And this is the answer for number 3. Finding the rate. So last problem natin guys. Siyempre, we will try to solve for the base. And as you can see sa lower part, meron tayong problem. Later on, tapakita ko sa inyo yan. Finding the base. The formula for the base, derived natin. Okay. B. Is equal to P over R. This is your R. This is your P. So, gawin natin dito, since yung R natin is 10%, convert muna natin decimal into 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. So, substitute na natin. B is equal to 8, your P, over your rate which is 0 0.1. And if you will use your calculator, or you will divide it manually, the answer here, Sa 8 over 0 0.1 is simply 80. This is the base of the given problem. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. And sana ito, this is your activity after watching the video. Solve this problem and sana makita natin sa comment section yung mismong sagot niya. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to solve for the percentage, base, and rate. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!